We'll begin with an opening statement and then we'll open it up to questions. Going into the uh, midweek this week, we, uh, you know, five games is tough in this day and age of college baseball and coming off a weekend road trip and uh, we're down great force. We were home, we played pretty well and got good pits in tonight. Patrick Sullivan stepped up and gave us a quality outing and ate up, ate up uh, six innings, did a nice job for us and put us in a position to win that game. Ray, you've spoken a lot this week about potential weekend starters. Did Patrick show you enough to maybe, I mean, maybe not for this weekend, but maybe a couple of weekends down the road? Well, you know, you never say never, but, you know, I, I've said from day one, um, Patrick Sullivan, if he could stay healthy, he, you know, he missed pretty much the senior year of high school with a back issue, and he's a tireless worker. He's continued to get better, and I think that with more opportunities, he's going to, He's going to show us what he can do. He may get some appearances before the rest of the year is up, but um, he, he's a guy we really like, um, you know, for for uh, his junior and senior campaigns. Can he show you a little something extra after loading loading the bases in the fourth and then getting out of it with two strikeouts? And the yeah, it showed me a lot. That's not an easy thing to do, regardless of who you are. And he walks a guy and two two sharp base hits. And then he made some pitches, really good pitches. You know, he was, his fastball was up near the you know, 90 mile an hour range. He got up there a little bit, threw some curveballs, some sliders, some change ups, threw some fastballs in. And he got out of that, that inning. That was impressive. And his composure, his poise was very, very good. You know, and that's, you know, as a coach, when you're sitting over on the side and there's base runners everywhere, that's not a good feeling. But when your pitcher shows you he has poise and composure, you stay with him. You feel like, hey, he's okay. He's he's mature enough to handle this situation. And although Patrick hasn't been out there a lot, that's what he showed us tonight. That was impressive. What did Myers go out and say to him after the second strikeout before the ground out? It seemed like he was kind of settling in. Well, he went. That's their that's their dangerous guy. You know, that's their nine home, ten home run guy out there. That you know, one swing in the bat, and it changes the com the complexion of that game. So what he said to him was. If this guy gets away from me, that's okay. You know, that's we walk in a run. If you don't hit your spots, that's okay. We don't want him to make it a four run at bat. So make some pitches and see if you can get him out. And if you don't, it's okay. And he was able to make a pitch and get out of it. You go to Colby uh, right after Patrick. Was that maybe kind of the precursor to the weekend, or here's a chance to maybe get back into it? Well, he needed some work. He needed he needed some successful work. He needed to get out there and feel good about his stuff and uh, get his feet wet a little bit. And and he seemed comfortable as well. And the ball was coming out pretty good. We just wanted to give him get him an appearance. He heading into the weekend, getting getting two midweek wins. Uh, um, you always got to like taking that momentum into into this important series. Well, absolutely. You you want to win. I know last year we had a tremendous run in the middle of the week. Not so bad this year. I guess we have a couple losses, but every game's important. You know, we always talk about the SEC and the weekends, uh, but there's 26 non-conference games that play a big role as well. So we've done a pretty good job. But you want to win. You want to win. Feel good about your team going into the weekend. Players want to feel good about themselves and. Uh, we were able to, to win these two games after exams got, got that out, and then now it's just baseball. So they've done a good job, and we know we're playing a team on Friday that is playing really well, hot, one of the better teams in the country right now. Uh, but we're glad we're here at Carolina State. Evan seems to be swinging it better and better each game, maybe a couple too many strikeouts at times, but was he maybe putting a little too much pressure on himself at the beginning of the year? Well, I think probably so. I mean, young players do that. He, he's a guy that uh, nobody outworks him. He puts in his time. He puts in the extra work. And you know, when you're not successful right away, I think it's frustrating. And you, you tend to press. I think that's only human nature. And he did. I think his swing got a little long, but he got he started shortening that up a couple of weeks ago. Started getting more hits. But he's a good player, and he he plays it the right way. He's a he's an outstanding young man, and and. He's not going to be great all the time, but he's a guy you feel good about having between the lines.